Hi there, good morning. It's Tanya from Tatter Treasures. Hello there. If you're new, then welcome. Welcome aboard. It's always nice to have new people join us. And if you are a returning subscriber, then it's always nice to have you here. Um, if you want to say hello in the comments, uh, please do so and give me a thumbs up. In the description box is um, my links and all the people who help out in the Facebook group, um, all their links are down there and the links to the kits that I'm using. Also in my links is a couple of uh, affiliate links to different online stationery shops and there is coupon codes for those and if you shop with those I uh, make a small commission and I've also got an Amazon storefront. Um, the Facebook group <coughs> is also uh, down there. So over the last two days I've um, been working with uh, the pieces from um, mine and Nanine's new digital kit which is a collaboration kit and it's called uh, Memories <laughs> oh dear here we go oh dear Memories of the Meadow um, and it's a beautiful uh, kit um, it's got a lot of sages in we've got some William Morris um, in there and we've got these images which are from uh, a copyright uh, book so and today we are going to use these pieces so in the kit there is two pieces like this they are joined together so you could leave them joined together or you can separate them and there's two small ones and these are them still joined on. Now the bigger ones fit over the top of uh, the normal CD. I think there's a little bit of um, just slightly uh, smaller. All I'm going to do is, you know, your little strips of paper, I'm just going to put that over or you could put washi tape over or you could just move it up a little bit more and then you would just have a tiny space at the top and bottom they're not a lot uh, out at all um, and then you get uh, two of these which are joined together which again you can keep as a single uh, piece or these fit inside your CD cases and we've got these ones for the smaller uh, CD cases so I'm going to do three different things um, with these so let's start off um, with the with the quickest one so I'm going to put this over the top of here like so and I'm going to do it that the space is at the top because I've got that piece that I've just uh, shown you so I'm going to use the art glitter and get this all around these corners. So I hope everybody's uh, doing well. I hope you're not missing uh, the lighting of the candle and me reading um, the dailies out. But um, I just wanted to um, sh show the kit off. I've not really spoke a lot um you know about what's going off um in life and things I've, i wanted to just keep them um just in case um because in the etsy listing for the kit i'm going to link um the videos um in case anybody wanted to uh get a proper look so i thought if i'm you know on about all and sundry um people will be like who is this woman so yeah we will be resuming uh with the candle and the dailies um tomorrow we'll get back to to normal uh one video a day <laughs> instead of three but um yeah just got three days at the start of the month um to, to kind of showcase the kit before um the lovely Denise at Junk Journals UK um, does her uh, project with the kit. So that's it covered. How easy is that? Um, yeah, I'm really excited about these these new pieces. This was um, something that I'd asked 
uh, Nanine about because um, you know I love CD envelopes I love any window and um, <clears throat> I've put that upside down but it really doesn't matter I mean I could have it as a but this um, is a ripped one so I think I will probably just um, put this onto a page instead of using it as a flip but I could put a new um, thingamajiggy on so bearing that in mind I want to cut it open somewhere don't I should have perhaps done that but I didn't so I'm just going to cut just a sliver I don't know if I got that top let's have a look oh I did I'm surprised it only felt like a a slither slither the slithery of the slithers right so we're going to stick um this down i think i'll just put some washi tape over this missing um bit or not i don't think it matters so we'll glue that down and let's see if our card fits I've got a nice matching card. I could have obviously used the coordinating one. So that fits in there. Lovely. Um, I've got a tab. So I'll put that on. Um, I have inked everything to save time. Okay, so that's <coughs> that, excuse me. Um, if you saw when I did some uh, paint, well, ink splatterings, um, I did some extra ones, so I thought I could use uh, those up. So I think. I'm going to pop that in there, like so. so. That was there. What about if it was down there? Oh, I could do it all the way down. Yeah, I'll stick it there. So let's stick that down. And then I've got some butterflies out. I really need to... Um, print out some butterflies don't think I've got any butterfly books at the moment but I've got I don't I think I've only really got um Tina's butterflies and then I've got um a freebie from Artemis I don't know I don't know if Nanny's uh, got a butterfly kit I'll have to have a look I know she's got a butterfly um you know full kit but I don't know if she's got um, butterfly pages um you can't see you know that has sunk into the background but um i don't think that matters too much so i've got a label do i want a label on no i don't um i think i'm just going to have that butterfly on have i only got three butterflies i'll just have i'll just have one on them let's have the bigger one on <coughs> That's too big. That's right here. Okay, so we'll pop that in. Like so, that's lovely. And then you can pop some of these um, on the outside. And then I think you can kind of see that a bit better then. I don't know why that is, but as if your eye looks them um, for similar similar things okay and shall we have that oh that's lovely so the inks I used was bundled sage Forest moss, um, 
that pinky one I think it's something velvet and a little bit of vintage photo and then I put some um, a couple of different mica sprays on one was a bronze and one was a, a green and I just flicked it with a paintbrush so that's that and do we want a label or do we want a word? I think a word would be nice. So we'll have that imagine there. And that's that for that one. Nice, quick and quick and easy. So that's that. Uh, the next one is <coughs> I'm going to put this uh, on the front of the envelope and have it as a as a pocket. So this will be. Uh, a flip out could open this up and have that as um, a pocket too. I don't know what I'm doing uh, with the rest of it, so I won't. Um, I won't slit any of the sides. I don't think I want that on. I think that's too too much. So I think I'll go for for this side. So let's start by. Get my tear roller and okay. This is one of the uh, collage sheets out of the kit. lovely and then about there so I've got a nice edge all the way uh, around okay so I link I think around that I'm using uh, gathered twigs thought it went with this kit nice I think uh, tea stain um, would look nice with it and um, vintage photo. I don't think anything darker would. Got the bundled sage. That would look very nice. I've got the bundled sage, but I've got it in the spray, not the um, pad. Right, so I'm going to pop that on there. And I'm going to use the cloud. Okay. So that will go on there. I need to put some acetate in this window and I want acetate in both of those. So we'll do that uh, now at the same same time. Um, again, I'm using that roll that I've used a couple of times now. Um, I'm wondering if I cut that in half. I think that will be, be enough. This is, um, it's like a plastic rather than um, an acetate. But um, yeah, I'm liking it on this uh, roll. It's definitely saving me uh, wasting pieces. When it was on the A4, I'd end up, you know, with all small, small bits uh, left. So we're back to the fabric tack. <laughs> Which is coming down. Like that. Okay. 
whatever's hanging over, I can just cut it, cut it off. That's my alarm. Okay. Right, put that over there. And then we've got this. Now, I want to be a bit more careful uh, putting the glue on here because this is going to be a pocket. So I want it to be properly stuck down so it doesn't get caught. Has it all gone? No, it's still some left. Go right round the edges. Okay. Yep. Can't see for looking. Right, stand that back and back up in case I want it again. We'll pop this on like. Okay, let me get some better scissors, sharper scissors out. So I'm just going to hold this up to the light so I can see. I think that'll be fine so that's going to get stuck down there um, so I am going to use this again whether I can keep it in a nice straight line a narrow line as well Not bad. Okay. So we'll pop that there. Okay. Can't put a label up there. Have the butterfly up there actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna put put these down because I like them. Lovely, and I've got that one. Oh, no. I think that one would be nice. Let's do that lower. In fact, I'm just gonna take that top bit off because I don't want it hanging over the top of the pocket. 
okay we'll see if the card fits if not I'll just have to cut it cut it down lovely have I got another word what's that it's just a bit of nothingness I'll grab a word outside kind of that just there let's put it on top of that even though it's shorter okay that's that and that's on the card. It might be okay. Ooh, no. Let's um <coughs> just take a sliver. Now I'm just gonna take a sliver off that side and a sliver off this side because obviously we've got this nice um Aged round, round it. Oh dear, I think I'm gonna have to re, re glue this pocket. Yeah, that is going to be fine, but um, I think I'll have to re glue it. Right, let's um. <clears throat> some space so I'm gonna have this in the middle don't know what I can do with that I don't think I want that and I don't want anything I don't want to put any paper underneath it or anything because I don't want it any uh, chunkier I suppose I could have done some light stamping, couldn't I? But that's fine. Um, I'm going to put that in the middle. Like so. And that's that. So I'm not going to try and put it back in. I'm going to leave it to see if it does um, dry. If not, I'll go back in uh, with the ink. And like I say, this will then be some kind of uh, flip out. So that's the second piece. And the third piece. Where's the... Oh, well, I left it over here, didn't I? Let's um, cut this down. Now I've left the card double and I'm going to have to cut that down um, a little bit. this one now there's no plastic um, at that bottom bit so I'm thinking that will glue fine I'm just gonna give this art glitter another shot see what happens Let me, if I just put a clip on there I think that bottom one will be fine. 
Right, let's just put that to one side for a minute. So we've got two plain sides. What shall we put inside? We've got one flower left. That'd be nice on one of the sides. No, I don't think so. I think I'll just put that on. So let's take it from there. Might need to be a bit lower. Oh dear. Oh I know. I can stick the I can stick the leaf back on but higher. So if I pop that about there, I think that will show through the window then. And then is that a leaf? Yeah. I've got that someone could smell um, thunder pieces. I just grabbed a handful. Mm, that's nice. Let's pop that on. stamp in that little corner. What's that? I think we might want something at the back. No, I don't want any of those. Not that. Like so. Let's have a look. Ooh. lovely. I might take a little bit off the top. Mind you, I don't I don't want to put um, a thingy on it because it's an opening one. Yeah, that's lovely. I think I'll put that thing back on. Um, do we want anything on the outside? Could have something. Oh, I like that there. Yep. I don't think I want anything uh, that side. So that is uh, those three pieces. So we've got that one and this one. This in here. Come on. No, I'm definitely gonna have to glue it, but I just want to put it in so I can see what it looks like. Oh, lovely. And that one. So, thank you very much for joining me. I will be back later with a couple more videos. I think all now I've got left uh, to do is uh, just normal 
kind of pockets and and tags and stuff so i'm just sitting sitting get get those made so i'll see you later bye for now